post-processing is one of the most important part of every project. We need to use high quality and standard contours, vectors, plots, and etc. in our articles and reports. CFD Post software is one of the most powerful tools which we can use with different solvers, including Fluent or CFX. So to start with, open Workbench and drag and drop a Fluent case in project schematic blank space. There are three ways to open CFD Post. At the bottom of solution, there is result which represents CFD Post and you can open it by double clicking. Another way is to scroll down the toolbox and find results at the component system section. We do post processing after solution, so firstly I drag and drop a fluent case and then results. Now imagine the solution has done, so what I need to do is to link it to the result. The last method is to search CFT post in search box at the bottom of the page located in taskbar. So this is the first page of the software. We will investigate all of the buttons and options one by one during this course, but start with file tab. Use load results or the hotkey Ctrl plus L to load the data files of the solution. You don't need to do that if you use the second method and link the solution data files to the CFD post. In the appeared window, we need to locate the data files or that file of the solution and open it. Okay, I've imported the heat exchanger project to work on and continue. The second option is close, obviously close CFD post and the hotkey is Ctrl plus W. The next ones, I mean load state and save state can be very handy. Imagine that you had a case, you did the post processing part, you draw some lines to get contour or plot or vector and maybe later you just need to modify them or use that lines and other things. So what you need is to save that state after post-processing part and then load that state if you want to modify. Don't forget the hotkeys Ctrl plus O for load state and Ctrl plus S to save the state. Import contains three options. The first one, import surface line or point data. It can be very useful here because uh, we can easily make lines and other things but in case you have a complex geometry and need to create a complicated line, maybe you can import the coordinates. Next one, import fluent particle track file. It relates to DPM cases, I mean discrete phase module of fluent. So we will talk about it later. We don't have anything to do about the last one and doesn't work for CFD, so I'll skip it. The second tab, edit. Like most of the softwares, there are undo and redo options and uh, we often use the hotkeys Ctrl plus Z and Ctrl plus Y to take a step back or forward. In options window, the setting of every part of the software is available, but now for us, viewer and unit sections are the most important ones. In background section, you can change the color of the background, I mean the surface behind the geometry. By default, it's blue to white, it's a gradient from blue color to the white. If I change it to the white, all of the surface becomes white. In the second section, there are options of ANSYS logo located at the corner of the background. By default, it is black, but uh, we prefer to hide it, so select none from ANSYS logo drop down list. There are two more essential options in this window. I mean, if you would want to take a picture of the background for your post-processing part of article or report, 
maybe they become handy and that's why I call them essential. As you can see, there are two checkboxes for axis and ruler visibility. They are located at the bottom of the background and by unchecking these boxes, you can hide them. One of the most important tab of the software is insert or better to say the most important one. As you may know, to make a contour or vector, you need a location to put this contour or vector on it. So first, we need to make a plane or surface at the middle or other uh, place of the geometry and then create contour. So from locations tab, we can have these options like line, plane or surface. And at the bottom of it, we have uh, many options for post-processing like making contour, vector, streamline, volume rendering and etc. And even make an optional legend or put a text. These options are our main tools for post-processing in CFD Post. So we need them very much. So it's not very logical to use insert tab uh, every time. But there is another way to get to them by right clicking on upper toolbar of the software and activating general tools, creation tools and tools these options would be accessible from upper toolbar we will use and discuss about each of them separately later but for now uh, let's escape it and get to the next tab I mean tools in this tab again uh, there are options like time step selector and animation which are very vital for transient simulations but uh, again they are accessible from the upper toolbar. So up to now this was just a quick introduction to the software. So let's begin with the main uh, window of the software, the outline. As you can see, I have imported just a single case, I mean shell and tube heat exchanger. But uh, I can import another one to make a comparison between different cases, then there would be more cases down here. This heat exchanger consists of two main different parts, a shell and a tube. And uh, below each of them, there is a list of boundary conditions, for example, the shell has four boundary conditions including wall, inlet and outlet. There is a checkbox near each of them. By checking it, uh, it would be uh, visible and by unchecking it will hide the uh, related boundary condition. For example, if I unchecked wall shell, it will hide and again by checking it, it appears. As previously mentioned, by double clicking on each of them, I can uh, change the setting of that specific boundary condition. For example, uh, open wall shell settings. And at the bottom of the window, uh, I have uh, a chance to change the color. But there are two modes, a constant and variable. By changing the color, uh, the geometry's color will uh, change. For instance, I change the color to uh, a black one and apply it. So uh, the wall shell turns to black uh, for another one, I mean uh, another boundary like the tube inside. I want to change the color to uh, see how the settings are different and and separate. The color of the tube is blue already but uh, I don't need to change it but uh, it's not visible right now. To make it visible uh, I should uh, hide the wall shell, the black one, then the tube inside is visible. The other option for color mode is uh, valuable. Choosing variable mode and uh, make your desired variable. For example, I want to see the 
pressure distribution on wall shell. So uh, from variable section choose pressure and apply it. Now I can have a, a contour like a contour of uh, pressure distribution on wall uh, and even other variables for example velocity. Before getting to a uh, render tab, I change the color to black one. In render tab, uh, our first option is to increase transparency. I can have a semi-transparent boundary for wall shell to see what's uh, going on inside. just a little transparent but not enough to uh, be clear so increase it again now it's just like a semi-transparent object and i can monitor the flow inside and everything the next field uh, draw mode has uh, four options uh, flat shading and smooth shading aren't very different But uh, the third one, draw as lines. If I apply it, you can see that uh, the mesh grid is visible as well as the geometry. And the last one, draw as points, uh, makes the nodes of the mesh grid visible. The next part is face calling. There are two options, back faces and front faces. Uh, if I choose front faces, then uh, the front uh, face of the object is visible for me. Uh, it's not very uh, clear here. I should uh, decrease the transparency. Now the front faces of wall shell is visible for me, even if I rotate the object like this. And the other option, back faces are totally vice versa. As you can see, the back faces is uh, visible everywhere. The lighting and specular options are related to the reflections, lighting, and shadows. Uh, as you can see, on the top of the shell, there is a reflection of a light. But by unchecking these options, there wouldn't be any reflection. But they are not very important. The next one, show mesh lines. Uh, it can be very useful in post-processing part but uh, it's just the same as uh, draw as lines in draw mode field but with uh, many other options I mean more details for example uh, I can have uh, a yellow mesh grid with uh, line width of for example 2 on my wall shell it may become handy for post processing part And finally, the last option in render section is apply texture. Uh, I can have a texture on my boundary condition, a predefined one or a custom one. But for example, I can uh, use brick uh, for my wall shell. It's applied, but uh, due to its color, it's not very visible. In the view tab, we've got some options to apply rotation, translation, reflection, and even scale the geometry. For example, if I want to rotate the wall shell about Z axis, I just need to choose Z from the drop down list of axes and then define the angle. I have defined 30 degrees and apply it. Then I have a wall shell rotated about Z axis. Uh, equal to 30 degrees 
The other choice is to apply translation uh, in X direction, Y and Z. For example, uh, I define some values for any of them. Then by click on apply button, uh, the geometry translated. The other choice is reflection. Uh, it may be handy in uh, geometries where we have um, symmetry boundary condition. It's, it may not be very rational to use it in this project, but uh, for instance, I uh, choose an XY plane method and uh, with a Z value of uh, 0.1, if I apply it, then I have a reflection. And the last option is the scale option. In X axis, again, or Y direction or Z direction. For example, I want to double the geometry in Y direction. The next tab is indicated as variables. As you can see, a list of different variables are here, which uh, we can use them in our reports for uh, making contours or other things. And even we can define a new variable. We will discuss about it later. In the expressions tab, we've got some expression and uh, fortunately we can define a new one. Uh, it's a kind of a specific feature of CFT post and we will use it in other uh, projects later. At the calculators tab, uh, we have a kind of calculator to uh, calculate different variables, different uh, expressions, and some other things. And at last, the Torva tab is dedicated to uh, a special uh, Torva machinery project. We will have a, a small example of it later.